Hey everyone, it's Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to significantly reduce your priority mail shipping costs by using what's known as the box in a bag method through pirate ships, cubic rate shipping. Now I have talked about pirate ship before. I've done a separate video on it. I will link to it at the end of this video for those of you who have not seen that before. But this box in a bag method is something that could give you additional savings. And somebody asked me this weekend if I ever did a video on it because I referenced it when I was at one of my uh, haul videos and I was estimating shipping costs and I was talking about how I could reduce it using this method. And someone asked me, hey, did you ever do a separate video specifically on this topic? And I said, no, good idea. So I figured, you know, once I had a good example and, um, you know, they, don't take too long to pop up I'll do a video on it and sure enough tonight I have a good example and it's based on something that I actually uh, got this weekend uh, from the haul video so if you watched it you may remember this and this actually may be the item that I was referring to when I talked about um, this box in a bag method and that's this swing line saddle stapler for those of you who have not seen one of these before I'll make it a little bit bigger so you could see it. It's a good be on the lookout item also. Uh, what it is is essentially a stapler. It's attached to a base and it gives you some additional leverage so that you could staple through some thicker uh, objects. And so they're pretty sought after. Uh, the sell through rate is pretty high. They could go anywhere for approximately 40 to $60. It just depends on the marketplace and how many people have them up at the same time. Now at the time that I uh, obtained this with uh, my wife, uh, there was somebody else who was selling this for $39, free shipping and 100% positive feedback. So since we sourced it so low at $2, all I did was drop the price a dollar to $37.99 and it sold within 24 hours for that price. Now key for me, is being able to know when I source this that this is something that would be eligible for cubic rate shipping. For those of you who are unaware of cubic rate shipping, it's not something that you could go to USPS and do. This is something you have to do with one of their affiliated programs, one of which is pirate ship. And what they look at in cubic rate shipping primarily is the dimensions of the box or the dimensions of the package. They are not factoring in the weight. In fact, the weight will not even appear anywhere on the shipping label, unlike your normal priority rate uh, shipping uh, box or package that you wind up doing uh, by weight. Now, you have to make sure when you are doing uh, cubic rate shipping that you don't exceed certain dimensions. So it's good for uh, small, uh, compact boxes, so small, heavy items, exactly like this saddle stapler. You know, it's about this, meh, probably like this big and about like this thick, but it is heavy. It's a little bit under five pounds and technically 4.4 pounds with the box uh, that you put it in and, um, you know, the bubble wrap and stuff. So it's about, I'd say about like a four pound uh, object and that's ideal you know it doesn't sound like that's super heavy but it's heavy enough that if you were to pay regular priority shipping costs I'll show you right here uh, it would cost you uh, you'll see right there this would be $15.20 to, to send that out now that's a lot of money when you're talking about a $38 item that um, eBay is going to take their cut out of and PayPal is going to take their cut out of as well. So you want to try to reduce those costs as much as possible. So you could go to Pirate Ship and when you go to Pirate Ship, uh, by default, you're going to get this type of packaging to pick from, the box or rigid packaging. And people who know about Pirate Ship use this and you could reduce that shipping cost. For example, it could bring that $15 rate down to like 10 bucks or down to 11 bucks or something like that. But what a lot of people don't realize is that if you go and you click this arrow right here, click that down arrow, it's going to bring you uh, to this next screen here, which says envelope. And the reason why people miss this even if they did see it and might not think it's applicable is because they look at the example, which is a, a small poly bag mailer, but you have to read on. It's not only for an envelope, a padded envelope, a poly bag, or a soft pack, but it is also for a box in a bag. In other words, 
if you could take your box, and this is the size box that I use, a 12 by 6 by 6, and you could put this in a poly bag, then you will get a further reduction in cost. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So this, this is actually the item right here. It's all wrapped up. It is in the poly bag, and you could just tape it up, okay? So it's just going to wind up looking like wrapping at the end. And the reduced cost of doing that brought it down to $7.82. So that's like almost 50% compared to, uh, in, in fact, here it says a 58% 50, discount in uh, you know the regular USPS price. So you know, compare seven dollars and eighty-two cents to uh, you know what you normally would have gotten, which is fifteen twenty uh, through eBay. You know, so that is a big reduction, and that uh, you know gives you a competitive edge over other people who are selling this item, uh, who are also sh you know shipping it out priority. Uh, you know, who may have to you know, increase their item cost if they're doing free shipping. So they might have to, you know, put the price up more. It gives you a competitive edge uh, over those people in terms of pricing. Uh, in terms of exactly how to do it. So this is what the box looked like before. And this is your 12 by six by six eBay box. What I would highly suggest doing, not only for this item, but also for just other things. This could be even for things you, you ship out first class that you don't want to put in like a big box, like something that may lay flat that you protect between two boards. Like I do this with art prints. Highly, 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 highly recommend. I can't emphasize it enough. These 24 by 24 poly bags, okay? And you can see they open up like this. Okay. These have saved me so much money over the years. I cannot even tell you. It's crazy. I have a link to these down below in my description section. Just click on the 24 by 24 poly bags. Now, the thing is, if you put, now you'll see, this will, will fit, it will fit inside of here. Okay. But the problem is, and you can see right here is that if you entered the 24 by 24 size into pirate ship where it asks you to put in the dimensions in fact let me let me bring that up again for you so you could see it um it will tell you here the package dimensions and then there's also going to be a part below which uh, has the weight now package dimensions you're just doing length by width of the bag now um what you could do is you could enter 24 by 24, but it's not going to accept it because that's too big. So what I would suggest you do, okay, because you see there is a lot of additional baggage here that you don't need. So what I would do is just take a scissor and just cut that off. And so you basically create a customized bag. And, you know, who's to say that you didn't go out, for example, and buy a 12 by 10 bag? You know, all you're doing is trimming down the excess. That's fine. So they'll put in those dimensions, okay? Because, again, you could have just gone out and bought that size bag. So you just bought this one bag to kind of fit all different sizes, cut it down, and then those dimensions will fit and be accepted into pirate ship and that's how you get those shipping costs reduced so if you have any questions about that let me know i hope that this uh helped you out and if so make sure that you hit that like button make sure you pass it on to other people uh, who could benefit from it make sure that you subscribe to the channel and real important if you still stuck around for this thank you make sure you come by tonight i want you to come and check out uh, the primetime live interview number 20 with Martin and Christina from uh, Martin's Thrift Store Gold. It's going to be a fun time, a really, really great reselling couple, especially if you're watching this and you're young, even if you're older, but if you're young and you're just thinking of starting out with reselling and doing social media, um, they're great examples of people who've done this successfully. And I think you'll really enjoy getting to know uh, Martin and Christina. They're a lot of fun. So uh, that's tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I look forward to seeing you there in the chat. Uh, make sure you come to my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. We are nearing on 9,000 members soon, so very exciting. And uh, make sure you come by to Instagram. That's at prime underscore time underscore treasure. I'll see you all at the next video, everyone. Take care.